for COVID. In addition, at the top here, we'll put that back on the easel in a minute. Um, these are the people who have earned awards this year by um, earning merit points. Um, Richard Johnson has earned a certificate of excellence, which is 200 merit points. Tom Harrington has earned a master's award, which is 600 merit points. Um, also with Della Land here has also earned 600 merit points within the last two months. Um, Richard Coombs and Jack Eichner have earned a senior master's award, which is 5,000 merit points. And Steve Port has earned a star master's award, which is 5,000 merit points. Congratulations to those people. I'll take that back, but do you need this? Can we just hold it? Yes, you can just hold it. All right. So our program tonight will be just announcing the awards and um, we're going to see the images as we announce them. So Jeannie is gonna, And if you're here, you get to collect your ribbons. And if you're not here, we get to keep them off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what have we got on the screen here, Shay? Wait, 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 you gotta hold. I don't want that on my head. I don't want it on my neck either. All right, these are the people who've been nominated for a, this is creative, class A. And these are the people who've been nominated by our three judges as the top 25% of the images that have been entered. And from those nominations, they choose a first, second, and third place for that particular category. So in Creative Class A, the nominees are Alien Eyeball, by Jim Shearer Jr. Um, bass fiddle, Mike Mueller. Bicycle in space, Richard Coombs. Having time to burn, Richard Coombs. I'm the boss. Larry Howard, Light and Shadow 01, Michael Cool, Time in a Bottle, Richard Coombs, and Waiting for Doctor, Larry Howard. And these are presented in no particular order other than alphabetically. And the winners are just like the Academy Awards, these came in in a briefcase, you know, totally locked. <laughs> um, winners are third place Time in a Bottle by Richard Coombs. <laughs> Second place is Alien Eyeball, Jim Shearer Jr. And first place in the Creative Class A category is Michael Cool's Light and Shadows 01. All right, next category is Creative Star Class. And the nominees for, and by the way, all of these that were nominated are honorable mentions for year end. And the nominees in the Creative Star Class 
are Celestial Beauty by Becky Humes, Dancing Orchid, Diane Sherratt, Fear Not, Abby Carrier, Gathering Nectar, Diane Sherratt, Mackinac Boat, Abby Carrier, Moonlit Tree, Russ Barneveld, Out of This World, Diane Sherratt, Scene Double, Becky Humes, The Undertaker, Russ Barneveld, and The Voyage, Russ Barneveld. The winners in Creative Star Class, third place. Is third place out of this world by Diane Sherratt. Second place, Celestial Beauty, Becky Home Humes. And first place in the Creative Star Class category goes to Russ Berneveld for Moonlit Tree. That the honorable mentions are it's bragging rights. There are no there's no further. <laughs> For those who might be wondering, um, your on, the honorable mentions, um, I, it's basically bragging rights. There are no ribbons. Um, if you really want to, if you would like a certificate, we could arrange that. We need to reach out to us. Um, but otherwise, it's just the honorable Your images will be in the gallery on the website. All right, Steve Port has volunteered to read this next category. And this will be photojournalism. He's going to read class A and start class. And then you step over here. And just see if anything. I'm on television. Can you see me? Okay. Need to step over. we do this every year. Who'd have thought photography was such a big deal? Standing around going click, click, click. Well, sometimes it's harder than others. Yeah. A while back, Garnett and I went out to <clears throat> Amon, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Amon Park. And we went there because we got trillium and bluebells. And I had some months before had neck surgery. So I was a little unsteady. But I got down there and I thought, you know, these will look better if I can get a little ways up in the air. So I found this pile of dirt and I carefully climbed up the top of it. And it was right next to a stump that was kind of hollowed out, a whole thing. And as uh, soon as I put the camera up to my eyes, I totally lost my balance. And I fell backwards. My backside went right into the stump. And I was in the stump and my legs were sticking straight up and my arms were sticking straight up. And Garnett was screaming, are you all right? I said, yeah, I saved the camera. <laughs> um, I did, but I deleted it because it was nothing but sky. <laughs> Enough about me. I 
photojournalism, class A. The nominees are Black Hand Shot by James Zeman, Bridal Party Gift by Shailen McGee Sarns. Because they're showing the images on Oh, should I turn around? Is it Anna White? Okay, next. Brothers Having Fun, Jim Shearer Jr. Next. Oh. Diving in Style. Again, Shaylin McGee Sarns. Amelia Feature Twirler, Shaylin McGee Sarns. John's first look, Shailen McGee Sarns. Is there anybody else? <laughs> Remains of Wildfire, Oregon. Kathy Kendall. Streetwear's Ned Hughes. The finish line, Kathy Kendall. Women Hand Painting Bowls, Kathy Kendall. And the winner is. In third place. Brothers having fun, Jim Shear Jr. Second place, John's first look, Shaylin McGee Sarns. And in first place, the finish line, Kathy Kendall. I should mention that when the judges I'll just hold it. Okay, I should mention that when the judges choose the honorable mentions, they're all based on the highest scores, 25%, as I said earlier. But when they choose the places, each member can only get one place. So they start out choosing the first place image. And after we choose the first place and then the other remaining images that the judges were, were thinking about will not go to the same first place winner. That way we don't have one person that takes first, second and third place. So once they get the first place, second and third are different members. But as far as the honorable mentions goes, if there's 10 of them to one person, that's just the way it falls. And those are indeed honorable mentions. All right, this next category is uh, Steve's going to do this one as well. He's got it. All right, next category is photojournalism and star class. There's a little light here. I'm fine. PJ Star Class. 4-H wow. Dilemma, Gene Quillen. I'll just, this is my prime room. Oh, Talk okay. Art Festival, oh, and this is Jan nice. Lewis. Did you take that? Chinese Street Food, <laughs> Jim Knapp. Thank you. Displaced, Becky Humes. Field Day, Gene Quillen. Jamming the Brakes, Jan Lewis. Oh, so yeah. Maddie's One, Steven Bergstaller. 
This is going to hurt Jan Lewis and the winners. In third place, displaced Becky Humes. In second place, jamming the brakes, Jan Lewis. In first place, field day, Jean Quillen. All right, that's good for you for now, Steve. I may have you come back. All right, Evie, would you come and do the next category? I do do your vote the star and then the Classic. The okay. year end competition in my camera club. Ooh. Evie's going to announce. Sorry, yeah. you can't hear me. Uh, Evie's going to announce uh, monochrome, both star and class A, starting with class A. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Good job. <laughs> um, monochrome, class A, Apache. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> what's this word? Okay. Um, Larry Howard. <laughs> okay, the next one is um, Down a Lazy R River, Richard Coombs. And then Great Grill, Diane Durand. Natural Patterns and Curves, Richard Coombs. Night on the River, Michael Cool. Ring on Korean Shoe, Shailen McGee Sarns. Yesterday's High Tech, Richard Coombs. And the winner is... <laughs> Third place, Great Grill, Diane Duran. Congratulations. Second place, Ring on Korean Shoe, Shailen McGee Sarns. Good job. And drum roll. Um, <laughs> first place, Down a Lazy yeah. River, Richard Coombs. Richard with us tonight? Yes, Richard is with us tonight. Hey, good job, Richard. <laughs> Guys, I have to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the photojournalism uh, star class. Oh, monochrome, sorry. Okay. So monochrome star class, uh, Kessa Mila, Steve Port. Fill her up, please. Steven Bergstaller. First Communion, Becky Humes. Half Past Autumn, Randy Nyhoff. Head in the Clouds, Steve Port. Hopkins Storm, Russ Barneveld. Lost Lake Canoes, Randy Nyhoff. Music Man, 
Jan Lewis. To Grandma's house we go, Jan Lewis. And the last one is Welcome to the Shore, Jean Quillen. Has everybody picked your favorite now? Yes, no? Okay, one more drum roll, please. <laughs> Uh -oh. And the winners are <clears throat> third place to Grandma's House We Go, Jan Lewis. Second place, Lost Lake Canoes, Randy Nyhoff. And first place, First Communion, Becky Humes. Thank you. And I'm going to have you read this first category. For three judges, uh, we did the final choosing via a Zoom meeting. Took what, about two or three hours, Dan? About three hours, yeah. And they were very uh, talkative about once they narrowed down their honorable mentions and then they try to decide um, which ones they like the best, they were commenting and it's very interesting to listen to their comments. One of the things the judges said in general is if you try to replace a sky and it doesn't look like it's replaced, it doesn't fit in, they mark down quite a bit that way. They also looked a lot for um, spots, like in the skies, et cetera, which would also cause them to mark down the score. So this is, was very interesting in, in hearing our comments. You might want to mention who the judges were. Oh, yeah. judges were Carrie Covens. Some of you may be, be familiar with her. Um, Maiden name was Weber. Her maiden name was Weber, and she was a member of the club probably about five oh, longer than longer that. Than that. Um, she's a very good photographer. You can find her on Facebook. And all of the biographies of the uh, judges were in the newsletter. Uh, Diane Carol Burdick was our speaker last month. Her expertise is in photojournalism and nature, or the nature whole actually the whole gamut very good at photojournalism. And um, John Fleming, who is a very good friend of Carrie's and um, I understand that he runs with uh, Ed. Ed Post and John Dykstra, who are also very good photographers. So I was very happy to have him and he's an excellent nature photographer. You can find him on Facebook as well. Okay. All right, Jane is going to read Nature Class A. Okay, you're responsible for the ribbons. Um, too many things in my hands here. Okay, so our honorable mention entries in Nature Class A are Buck Creek Fawn by Larry Howard. Chipmunk Snacking on Seed by James Zeman. Columbine Temperance River by Steve Mueller. Elk in Fog by Diane Durand. Glacier by Madhur Badarinath. Grasshop, uh, Grasshopper Pear by Steve Mueller. Kestrel by Don Schmucker. Milkweed by Michael Cool. Owl on Branch by Don Schmucker. Resting Bee by James Zeman. Sunset Beach 
Seascape by Richard Coombs. Too Close for Comfort by Kathy Kendall. And Twisted Pose by Jim Shearer Jr. And the winners, third place goes to uh, Glacier by Madhur Bardina. I did not, thank you. I did better the first time. Sorry, Madhur. Thank you. <laughs> I tried. Um, second place goes to Twisted Pose by Jim Shearer Jr. And first place goes to Resting Bee by James Zeman. Thank you for hearing. James is um, here by Zoom. Hey, James, good job. Good job. Didn't hear me because I didn't have the mic. Thanks a bunch. He might have said something. I can't hear because the headphones are. All right, these are the, none of them are here, right? right. Yes. Okay. Am I doing the next one too? I'm not sure. Nope. Okay. I am actually. Okay. All right, next category. Nature, star class. Against All Odds by Becky Humes. Antelope Canyon 2 by Jim Knapp. A Small Life, Diane Shavat. Aster, Diane Shavat. Backlit Beauty, Steven Bergstaller. Beauty and the Beak, Steven Bergstaller. Cousins Confrontation, Jan Lewis. Coy Cardinal, Jan Lewis. Found Treasure, Steve Port. Halloween Pennant Beauty, Diane Shavat. Kermit or Hermit and Thrush Mating Display, Jan Lewis. I'll Be Back by Steven Bergstaller. Leaves with Water Drops, Randy Nyhoff. Me First Mom, Jan Lewis. Peregrine Falcon Eating Dinner, Della Land here. Road Runners Also Fly, Jan Lewis. Silly Porcupine, Becky Humes. Southern Double Collared Sunbird, Steven Bergstaller. The Yellow Rumpled or Rumped Warbler, Mike Burgeon. And lastly, Yellowstone Ram by Randy Nyhoff. A little drama. Okay, winners for the nature category. Third place, Leaves with Water Drops by Randy Nyhoff. Second place, I'll Be Back by Steven Bergstaller. And first place for Nature, Cousins Confrontation by Jan Lewis.
Lucky, would you like to read this one? Otherwise, I can give it to Steve. We have to get her outfit in here. Yeah. Wireless? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, open, correct? Yes, can I take my mask off with you? You are. All right. Am I on camera? I think so. You'll probably have to step over just a little more. There we go. They can't really see me well anyway. All right. So we are going to do open class A along the lake shore, Richard Coombs. Amaryllis flower, James Zeman. Beautiful Maine, Shailen McGee Sarns. Mayor, beautiful mayor. Blue Bike, Richard Johnson. Bridge and Lighthouse, Karen Mueller. Crisp Point Light, Michael Cool. Gull on Rail, Michael Cool. Happy Days, Richard Coombs. Hello Kitty, Richard Johnson. Incense, Shailen McGee Sarnes. Jesus Statue, Larry Howard. Laundry Day, Morocco, Kathy Kendall. Lone Memorial Day Rose, James Zeman. Looking for Lunch, Mike Mueller. Railroad Signs, Diane Duran. Still Life Eggs, Larry Howard. And Waiting for a Train, Richard Johnson. And the winners are... In third place, we have Laundry Day in Morocco by Kathy Kendall. Hello Kitty by Richard Johnson in second place. And in first place, we have Incense by Shailen McGee Sarnes. Are those the ones we put together? Hold on. Yep, you're good. No, I'm going to do this. Awesome. We need your mic. I was just going to wear it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Becky. Hold on a minute. Oh, did I just turn it off? I think I did. Dang it. Can you hear me? Somebody give me a, a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay. Can you hear me? Della, give me a, th a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay. All right, open, star class. Um, and you notice that some of these have longer lists of, of honorable mentions, and that's because they're bigger categories. They had many more entries to begin with. So 25% is going to be a lot more than a small category. All right. Um, Adams and Wabash by Steven Bergstaller. Chuck's Roadkill Diner. Randy Nyhoff, Distillery, Diane Charvat, Fall Morning Light, Randy Nyhoff, Farm Scene by Russ Barneveld, 
Fun at the Velodrome, Jack Eichner. Gilroy Stadium One, Stephen Bergstaller. Gulls, Randy Nyhoff. Iconic Action, Stephen Bergstaller. Iris in Watercolor, Jan Lewis. Landing Gear Engaged, Jan Lewis. Uh, Lighthouse Sunset, Randy Nyhoff. Sorry, Russ. <laughs> All right. Lighthouse Sunset by Russ Barnabelle. Next one is New Day Dawning by Randy Nyhoff. On the Way Home, Randy Nyhoff. Quick, Kiss Me, Jack Eichner. Smoking Hot Pepper by Becky Humes. Strand Jetty 2, Steven Bergstaller. Swamp Buggy Fun, Della Land here. The Glades, Evie Carrier. Toko Tucan, Jan Lewis. And Yahoo by Della Land here. And Suspense. Have you picked out your favorites? Yes? In trouble here. All right, third place, Open Star. Uh, Yahoo by Della Land here. Second place, Adams and Wabash two or one, Steven Bergstaller. And first place, On the Way Home by Randy Nyhoff. Steve Port, would you like to do one more category? This is a portraiture, both star and open. Portraiture class A. Our nominees are Blue Eyes, number one, Larry Howard. Bright Eyes, Mike Mueller. <laughs> Dip on the Blue Bridge, Shaylin McGee Sarns. Dustin. Shaylin McGee Sarns. Man in Window. Richard Johnson. And in third place, Bright Eyes, Mike Mueller. Second place, Dustin Shaylin McGee Sarns. And in first place, our winner is Man in Window, Richard Johnson.
portraiture star class. Big blue eyes, Becky Hughes. <laughs> Charlie, Mike Virgin. Day of the Dead, Becky Humes. Devilish by Jan Lewis. Emily, Becky Humes. In Thought, Ross Barneveld. Kindergarten Joy, Mike Virgin. Peekaboo, Becky Humes. Selfish Son of, Randy Nyhoff. Selfie. <laughs> Selfie, sort of. My apology, Randy. Sonny Kendra, Jan Lewis. And the winners are in third place, Selfie Sorta, Randy Nyhoff. And in second place, in thought, Ross Barnabelt. And in first place, Big Blue Eyes, Becky Humes. I'm going to have you do this one. Oh. On. Yeah. All right. So is this our no, we have one more after this, right? We have tapes and we have a, a sign. Project. Okay. All right. So this is Scape Star Class. And our nominees are I'm sorry. It's class A. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say star class? You did. All right. I meant class A. I don't read well. Um, <laughs> Amalfi Coast by Richard Johnson. Banff Reflection by Karen Mueller. Chateau Chantal Sunset by Shailen McGee Sarns. Clouds Over Cliffs by Karen Mueller. Grand Teton by Madur Badarina. Did I do better? <laughs> um, Mighty Mac at Night by Mike Cool, Michael Cool. Mountain View, Karen Mueller. River Bend by Karen Mueller. Sheltered Harbor, Washington by Kathy Kendall. And Silver Lake Dunescape by Michael Cool. And the winners are All right. Drum roll. Third place Silver Lake Dunescape by Michael Cool. Uh, second place goes to Amalfi Coast by Richard Johnson. And third place, or first place, goes to River Bend by Karen Mueller.
Right. Am I doing the next one too? No. Okay. Uh, Abby, would you do the next one? I don't know who's going to do this next one. All right, here's the. Okay. Um, Scapes Star Class. Arizona Dreaming, Jan Lewis. Blue Water Bridge to Canada, Steven Bergstaller. Cave Creek Canyon, Jan Lewis. Comet Neowise, Jan Lewis. CT Stadium to Steven Bergstaller. Elk Mountains, Steve Port. Golden Pond, 3 a.m., Mike Virgin. GR at Night, Jack Eichner. Last Rays, Gene Quillen. Layer Cake, Steve Port. Museum of Islamic Art, Doha, Qatar, Steven Bergstaller. Sky Cathedral, Steven Bergstaller. And Storm on a Country Road, Becky Humes. Okay, the winners are These are really sealed. <laughs> Did you spit on them? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> All righty, third place. Um, last raise, Jeannie Quillen. And second place, Golden Pant. 3 a.m. Mike Virgin. Mike Virgin is here by Zoom. Okay, and um, first place, Storm on a Country Road, Becky Humes. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Cole, would you be so kind as to read the <laughs> Is it in sign language? It is. It's a long one. It's a long one, but I'll share that with you. And Jan's going to talk a little bit about a sign before. Oh, so close enough that I can they can pick up. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, talk first. So in a sign, this year what we did was. I think they can pick it up. Oh. Yep. Um, we asked them to to consider not just the quality of the image, but to to consider the creativity that went into um, solving the assigned subject for each month. So they looked at each. We had the images divided up into each assigned category, and they. Um, they went through each assigned category and chose the best ones um, from each assigned category. And then um, looked at all of those together to choose the first, second, and third place. So there's a lot of honorable mentions here because we had a lot of, we had nine different categories and they had a really hard time with this. It was, it was a challenge, but Again, um, we tried to get them to think not just about image quality. Of course, a strong image is, is very important. 
but to consider first how well the um, photographer met the challenge in terms of a, in a creative way, not, not necessarily a, the same as a creative in our creative category, but um, meeting the challenge. So, okay. And Mike, if you would read also the- uh, I was gonna say, do the numbers mean anything? Those are the scores, I should cut them off, so don't read them. <laughs> well, what about that one? Um, just ignore that. This, this is just a number. So okay. The first one out of the shoot is Architecture of Visconti Triptych by Evie Carrier. And the category? It's assigned. No way over. The sign is oh, view, view, from view from below. All right. VFB, that's view from below. Didn't you know that? No. <laughs> I don't win any of this stuff. So, how do I, what would I know what that's about? Anyway. Beaverhead Lighthouse by Russ Barnavel, also view from below. Next up is Dawn Down Under by Gene Quillen, view from below. Into the Wild Blue Yonder, Jack Eichner, view from below. Next big bunch is Airborne, Flying High by Della Landheer. This is Airborne. Flyover by Randy Nyhoff, Airborne. Flywheeler Liftoff, Gene Quillen, Airborne. Night Flight by Jan Lewis, Airborne. And rounding out the Airborne section is Seagulls in Flight by Richard Johnson. Next up is Vehicles, Mercedes by Steve Port. Route 66 by Richard Johnson. And Vintage Tractor by Randy Nyhoff in Vehicles. Next bunch is all, all row, all in a row. Is that what I'm thinking? All in a row, all in a row not all row. It, they're not all like, a, row. it's not a bunch of row boats. So don't get excited. Color Me Loved by Becky Humes. Musenberg Beach Hut Pano by Steven Bergstaller. Post from the Past, Della Land here. And rounding out all in a row is Synchronized Swimmers by Jan Lewis. Rivers is running next. Cold Creek by Larry Heidenberg. Foggy Morning at Riverside Park by Becky Humes. Glacial Fed Braided River by Jan Lewis. Grand Morning by Mike Burgeon. St. Mary's River Dock by Russ Barneveld. And the rivers dry up with Winter Tranquility by Larry Howard. Let me flip this over. Nautical is the next theme. Captain One by Steven Bergstaller. Some Bay That Starts With a C, P-E-I, <laughs> by Randy Nyhoff. Fishing Boat by Russ Barneveld. High and Dry by Richard Coombs. And the end of, the, no, it's not. High Water in Fishtown is James Zeman. Now wrapping up the nautical theme is Sunset on the Keel Canal by Della Land here. Harvest Tea is Harvesting and Replanting by Jim Knapp. And now we get a little curvy with the curves. Brandy Glasses by James Zeman. Concentric Curves by Jan Lewis. Curved Ferris Wheel Lights by Shaylin McGee Sarns. Lighthouse Stairwell by Della Land here. Oil and Water Abstract by Diane Charvat. Shaker Village Staircase by Karen Mueller. And wrapping up the whole curves and the assigned is Vortex by Jean Quillen. And she trades with me. As we delve into the winners. 
these in any kind of order? Uh, let, me, let me just say, the judges had a really, really difficult time in this category because there were a lot of them. So um, they got down to, they picked their first and then they picked this and then all of the images by that person fell out and then they picked the second, same thing. And they had, they had so many left, they said they couldn't decide. So we let them choose two third places. That being said, we have two in third place for in no particular order, Concentric Curves by Jan Lewis and Color Me Loved by Becky Humes, both tied for third place. Second place. Went into the curves section again. Beaverhead Lighthouse by Russ Barneveld. And topping it all off for first place in the assigned, and it's the airborne category, Free Wheeler Liftoff by Gene Quillen. Thank you. Thank you for reading, Mike. All right, we have three final awards. Actually, we have four. Um, three more ribbons to give out. Um, we ask each, ju each judge when they start the judging process um, to keep an eye out because they, are, um, they can choose their favorite image from all of the images. Doesn't matter whether they made honorable mention or not. It doesn't matter what class, whatever their favorite image was. Um, so they had, I think we had like 600 and, we started out with 670 images. Yeah, we had over 600 images. Over total. 600 images. And um, the, the judging process involves weeding them down to the 25%, which are the honorable mentions of which you saw this evening. Um, and then from that, the winners, but they are allowed to choose any image for their judge's choice. Kind of like our uh, image of the month that we do at our club. Similar. Yes, kind of like the image of the month that we have, um, have selected. So um, we have three ribbons to give out. The first, then let's see, the first judge was Diane Carol Burdick. Diane really, really likes um, photojournalism. She used to work for the press. She was very taken by um, a lot of the, the PJ images. And her choice was Field Day by Jeannie Quillen. And in case, in case you're wondering, um, the judging process took place with Shay, myself, and Jeannie, and then the three judges. And they do not, the judges do not know whose images they are looking at. And we do not tell them. So it's very, you know, as they're going through images and they might choose one of our images, we are mum. There is... They do not know. They do not know until after they've selected the images whose they are, whose they belong to. So there's, okay. Our next judge was Carrie Pavance. And Carrie says, Carrie did respond. We did invite the three judges to attend tonight. Um, Diane was gonna be up north. Um, I don't know what's done. John didn't get back to me, but Carrie did respond and she um, sent her apologies. Her mother just passed away this past week. So she's kind of in another space. So, but she said to say hi to everyone. All right, Carrie um, selected Cousins Confrontation, which was my image, Jan Lewis. And John Fleming, Selected Storm on a Country Road by Becky Humes. Huh? 
had nothing but great things to say about that image. John, John loved that image and he had probably my favorite I've ever taken. I was actually getting a panoramic of that long cloud that you see there. And the lightning just literally that's a handheld. I saw the lightning coming and I shot it. Wow, he's that so that the people at home can hear. I said I was trying to do a panorama of the long cloud, the shelf cloud back there. And I got lucky with the lightning. I knew lightning was going off, but I wasn't like timing for lightning. Wow. All right. Um, can we have some lights at this point for our last award? Oops. All right. Now you can actually see me, huh? Um, Okay, um, our final award is the Photographer of the Year Award. This is, um, this is the, the big deal. And unfortunately, I actually don't have the award to give. Um, I ordered it a month ago, but I guess there's been delays all over and um, it has not yet arrived. So I don't have the trophy to, to present this evening, but I will tell you who the recipient is. This year, because we did not do prints this year, we don't have top score print and top score um, digital because the top score digital is also the same thing as photographer. It works out as the same as photographer of the year. So our photographer of the year is the, it's the highest average. How does it work? Either way, it works out the same. It's, but oh, it's normally the highest average. The highest. Normally, normally it's the highest average score of all of their images, prints and digital combined. Since we didn't have any prints, the highest average score and the highest sum score are both identically the same. So our um, photographer of the year this year is Steven Bergstaller. So congratulations to him. For those of you who may not know, Steven actually lives in South Africa. Um, he is originally from the South Michigan area. And um, so I, I'm not sending this award to South Africa. He has provided me with another address here in the States. So anyway, congratulations to Stephen. And congratulations to all the competitors and all the winners. It was a, it was a, a daunting task for the judges and they, they worked very hard. So as did Shay and Jeannie, thank you for all your hard work. So. Any other announcements? Um, Russ, do you wanna say anything about um, the edit challenge? You need to come up here and do it before we... <laughs> Please say no thanks. So that the people at home can hear. You can hold it if you want. Okay. This is more. Okay. Um, edit challenge. We will not be doing one this month. Correct. But uh, next month we're going to uh, kick off some new new ideas for the edit challenge. And uh, it was in the last uh, lights and shadows. The uh, the list of topics and uh, this coming months, what we decided to do is have you pick out your favorite image, uh, much like the judges' choices. It doesn't have to be something that scored well in competition, it doesn't even have to be in competition, just pick out your favorite image. And what we'd like you to do with it is to, first of all, give us the original image the way it came out the camera. And then if you did any editing on it, uh, also the, the edited version, so, okay. Right. And, and that'll be due- Same time. At the same time, so early, so so we're not doing one for March, we're doing, or we are doing one for- This will be the one that's due in March. It'll, one, it'll be due the, due the same time as our competition images, which is gonna be the first Wednesday of March. It will be upon us sooner than you think, so. Start thinking about that. So anything else? Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody from Zoom have any questions? Dan? Yes. Well, I, I just 
By the way, that would be March 2nd. March 2nd is the deadline, yes. That comes up fast, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Um, we're going to have uh, Dave, mine went blank. Um, he's coming with his dog. I don't know if um, he's going to be showing how to capture incredible images with your favorite puppy. So um, he invited people to bring their dogs and he would kind of do a show and tell and take um, images of dogs catching things or whatever dogs do. But I just wanted you to be aware, yes, um, you're invited to bring your puppies. So um, it should be a lot of fun. So is that yeah. how you're going to bring his dog? Yeah. Cool. He actually brings his dog to GVA's group every month. So hmm. anyway, um, yeah, something different. And it should be really great. So are you saying that, that members can bring their dogs as well? Yep. So members members can bring their dogs as well. And um, yeah. GVA is okay with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, if your dog is out of control, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any questions from any of the Zoom participants? Who do we have? Is Dan, Mike Mueller here. Yes. Is Steve or Karen Mueller there? If so, you can give them anything that I've got and I can pick it up from them. No, they are not here. I didn't think they would be. I, pardon? I'll, I'll get in touch with you. I'll get in touch with you. Okay. Any other questions? Any, any questions from the, the crowd that's here? Nope. All right. Well, congratulations. We have cake and punch. Thank you to Evie and coffee. Thank you to Evie Carrier for arranging for the punch and coffee. Um, sorry, those of you who are at home, you'll have to provide your own cake, but, but we do have a Costco cake out there to celebrate the, the award ceremony. So thank you all. Good night, everybody.